I'm Nick Moore. If you find that you need a 4K60444 matrix switcher with four inputs and two outputs, then the VS42H2 is the product for you. The VS42H2 can be controlled remotely and manually and is also an auto switcher. The controls on the front of the VS42H2 are straightforward. There are two rows of input buttons, one for each output. There are two mute buttons, again one for each output. The EDID button is used in the process of copying the EDIDs from the output to the input of the VS42H2 and the lock button can be used to prevent accidental pressing of the buttons. In addition, there is an infrared sensor on the front panel that is used for controlling the device. Looking at the back of the unit, we can see the four HDMI 2.0 inputs. Above them is the port where the Kramer IR extender kit can be attached for remote IR. We can see contact closures for remote control operation of each of the two outputs and an RS-232 port again for control. Next to the RS-232 port are the DIP switches which control the HTCP compliancy of the inputs and also determine whether the switcher operates in manual mode, automatic and if it's in automatic mode whether it's in last connected or priority mode. Next we have a USB port for programming the device a button that determines whether the RS-232 port is used for programming the VS42H2 or for controlling it. By default, the button is off, which means that the RS-232 port is used for controlling the VS42H2. The Ethernet port through which you can access the built-in web pages, the two HDMI 2.0 outputs, and the 5V DC input. For more information on Kramer's extensive range of matrix switches, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.